Hi, my name's Jackie and today we're going to be uh, building a new website using Dreamweaver and I'm going to take you through the basics. Uh, this is really for people who have not used Dreamweaver before and uh, hopefully by the end of this session you will be able to know the real basics about setting up a website in Dreamweaver. There will be more videos to follow, uh, hopefully they'll encourage you to try more and more of the different features in Dreamweaver um, but let's get started with the basics. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a site folder that's going to contain all of my elements and pictures and anything that I want to go on my website. So I'm going to create that folder on my desktop so that it's easy to get to. So I'm going to create that folder now. Um, so I've just right clicked on my desktop and I'm going to call my folder uh, Jackie's Cafe. I'm going to build a website for my cafe and I'm going to go into that folder by double clicking and I'm going to create a new folder and call this one images and this is where I'll put my images for my website so I'm going to close this down I'm going to go into Dreamweaver and I'm going to, going to create a new HTML page and uh, I'm going to go to site new site and I'm going to put my site name here Jackie's Cafe and I'm going to click on this folder here just to let Dreamweaver know I would like all of my files to go into this site folder that I created earlier and I'm going to save this okay so I've set up Dreamweaver to save all of my files into that folder um, the next thing I'm going to do is to manage my site. So I'm going to go to site, manage sites, and I'm just going to check that it says Jackie's Cafe. Okay, done. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is set up the viewing panel in Dreamweaver. You'll notice there is one side that contains code and one side that is blank. And you can click in both sides. Okay. Um, we're going to be working mainly in this side, the blank side, because Dreamweaver is really great for people who don't really know much code. I don't really know very much code, um, but I've used Dreamweaver to help me build websites in the past, and it, it hasn't hindered me too much, so hopefully you'll, you'll find the same. Um, we will go through some coding elements, uh, just so that you can recognise some parts of code, but really this won't be about coding, it will just be about using Dreamweaver. Okay, so back to setting up our viewing panel in Dreamweaver. I'm going to click down here and I'm going to scroll down until I can find 1024 by 768. And you'll notice there are two sets of numbers. This number represents uh, the full size and this number represents what you'll actually see. Uh, taking into account sort of scroll bars along the sides. Uh, tables along the tops of your screen. So I'm going to click on here and nothing will have changed here really but just check that the number down here says 1000 by 620. Okay, The next thing I'm going to have a look at is the page title. At the moment it says untitled document whatever you write here will display at the top of a web browser um, so I want to give the name of my website here Jackie's Cafe and I want to choose words that are really relevant to what is on the page of the website um, this is good for something called SEO search engine optimization and it's really important you summarize the page in a couple of words that people would search for when locating your site or services that your site offers. The next thing I'm going to do is to set up my workspace uh, in a way that I can see all of the tools that Dreamweaver has to offer. So I'm going to go to Window, Workspace Layout, and check that it is set to classic and it already is for me so 
I can click off of here and you should have lots of icons along the top here for you to use and displays here along the bottom and down the side as well and this is where we will be clicking quite often. Okay, The last thing I'm going to do then is uh, save this page into my folder and I'm going to go to file and save as and make sure it's saved in that folder on my desktop, Jackie's Cafe. And I'm going to give my page a different name. I'm going to call it Index. And this name represents the first page on your website. And it won't appear when the website is displayed. It's just for your reference in your folder. But everyone understands the term Index as meaning the first page. And I'm going to press Save. Okay, so that is us set up on Dreamweaver, uh, ready to go. Uh, and if you join me for my next video, I will show you how to start inserting divs and dis designing uh, the layout for your website.